Penny, you and Elvis go in Phoenix. I'll take Mercury. Roger, Roger that, Sam. There. Now everyone in Ponty Pandy can come and get their healthy food. This way! No, this way! No, that way! No, that way! Tell me the odds. I want my mom! <laughs> I'm going to climb on now! <laughs> that stopped the engine, but you still have no brakes and you're heading straight for the cliffs! Elvis, I want you to throw a rope to the bus to slow it down. You mean? Yep. Get out your lasso and round them up, partner. Now hit the brakes, Penny! The most important thing in any animal rescue is keeping the animal calm. Oh, okay. Sorry. Right, uh, Wooly, um, it's not very sensible to be on a roof. You being a sheep and everything. That's better, Arnold. Come on, Wooly. One hoof in front of the other. Gotcha! Whoa! <gasps> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I thought we were here to catch a sheep, not a fireman. <laughs> Why are we going this way, Norman? So we can beat Sarah and James. Now all we have to do is... How did they get there? We need to get ahead of them, quick! Norman, it's really dangerous to run down a steep hill. It's fine. Don't be such a babe. <laughs> Great shortcut, hey, Mandy? If you like skin knees and mud all over your bottom. Huh? How is he doing this? Shh. Norman, you'll frighten the horse. The horse? Come on then, Wooly. There you go. Mm, gotcha. Well done, Sam. It wasn't just me, Lizzie. We're a team. Well, I didn't really do anything. You did? I did? Yes, you did a great big belly flop into the mattress. <laughs> mm. 
Come on, Mandy. We can ride the horse to Ponzi Pandy Point. We'll easily beat James then. But I can't ride a horse. Neither can I. But how hard can it be? It doesn't even have a saddle. Riding a horse is easy, Mandy. You just have to get on and say, giddy up. I've seen it on TV. Ugh, there is no way I'm getting on that horse. It's dangerous. There is nothing dangerous about being on this horse. Ah! Ah! Well, it looks pretty dangerous to me. Do it! I'm actually going to win! Ah, wait! Where are you going, Orsi? Orsi! Do you need some help with those, sir? Oh, no, Sam. It's your birthday. You just sit down and have a rest. I'll test these. Yes. Well, all right, sir. Sure, you don't need some help, sir. I'm fine, Sam. Yep. Oh, you just relax. I'll try, sir. I'll try. So, what do you think, James? I think it's really unfair that you called me here to fix it, but you didn't call me here when you were going to play with it. That's because you're so brilliant at fixing things. Hmm. Glue. Screwdriver! Pliers! That should do it! I said you were brilliant at fixing things! And I'll be the one to test it! Well done, James! It's driving really well! Uh... It may be driving really well, but I can't make it stop! The throttle's stuck! Oh no! If we don't get it back, Uncle Sam won't have a birthday present! Quick, Hannah! Follow that fire engine! Whoa! Oh! Uh, Sam? <laughs> Sam? Sam? <laughs> Sam! Ah! What is it, Elvis? Don't you think we should go and help fire Captain Steel? Are you sure you're okay, sir? Oh, yeah, yes, thank you, Sam. Oh, fine. Just relax. Oh, ah. Apparently, he's fine. Careful, James! I'm trying to be careful! Ah! Oh, Sam is going to love his cake! Oh, my! Someone shrunk Jupiter! Ah! Fire-breathing dragon has set fire to Bessie's shed. That's a new one. A fire-breathing dragon has set fire to Bessie's shed. My Bessie's in that shed.
All fires are out, and Bessie is fine, sir. Thank you, sir. Well, Ellie, I might not have gotten into the smoke room today, but I did get to fight a fire-breathing dragon. <laughs> you did, Elvis. Oh, dear. It looks like Norman might be about to get a good telling off. From Fireman Sam? No, far worse. Norman Price! I can't believe you nearly set Fire Captain Steele's Nellie! Uh, I think you'll find that's Bessie. Fire Captain Steele's Bessie? On fire! I'm sorry, Mom. I didn't do it on purpose. I know it was an accident, Norman, but you were playing with matches. And that is one thing you should never do. I know, Fireman Sam. I'll never ever do it again. <gasps> Wait a minute! That's my best hat! Told <gasps> you! Norman, you said it was what brave knights used to wear! You are in even more trouble now, Norman Price! Come here! There you are, Fire Captain Steel. Bessie is safe and sound. Well, you look a bit sooty, old girl. But we'll soon have you clean, pristine, and gleaming. Ooh, there's a bit of dirt there, sir. Hmm, and a bit of dirt there. Oh, and that bit's very grubby. Oh, you missed a bit, sir. Uh, uh, very good, yes. Oh, uh, Credlington, you appear to be wearing an ocean rescue uniform. I am. I can't get out. Ooh, stay right there. I might just have the very thing. The animal rescue uniforms are a softer color so as not to scare the animals. And they are made from a material that is very easy to move around in. So, let's see how fast you can change into these. Yeah. Uh, 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 <laughs> Crippington, get the animal rescue uniform on. Did you manage to get all those pizzas in your oven, Hannah? Just about. It was a bit of a squeeze. Great! I'll call Granddad and tell him they're nearly done. <gasps> Don't call Granddad, James. Call Fireman Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Two oven fires have broken out at the Whole Fish Cafe. Two oven fires have broken out at the Whole Fish Cafe. Penny, you and Arnold go in Venus. We'll take Jupiter. Roger, Roger that, that, Sam. Sam. Shut off the electricity. Penny, you put out the fire upstairs. Roger that, Sam. Power off, Sam. I got out of my animal rescue uniform. I'm ready to fight the fire. I'm sorry, Elvis. It's too late. The fire's out. Oh. 
Lady Pufflepaws and Norman have fallen into the river. Lady Pufflepaws and Norman have fallen into the river. Elvis, bring Saturn. <laughs> Stay calm. We'll find him. I'm launching Saturn now. There he is. Norman, grab on to this. Come in, Elvis. Norman is safe, but I can't see the dog. Saturn's found Lady Pufflepaws. She's heading towards the ocean. We can't reach her in time. We can, if we take a shortcut. Get ready, Penny. <laughs> Come in, Elvis. Lady Pufflepaws is safe, well, ooh, and very licky. Norman, you know, if pets are in danger, owners should never try to save them. Always call a rescue service. And never play near water unless an adult is there to watch you. I'm sorry. But you did show you cared. Maybe you are ready to have a dog of your own. No way. Dogs are naughty. You tell them one thing, they do another. And they're always getting into trouble. Sounds like someone else I know. Come in, Penny. Steel here. I love my new desk. But why is there a slide in the lounge area? Well, I thought we could keep the slide. We'll remove it immediately, sir. Ah, uh, oh, ha. Uh. Yes, you may have to remove me first. <laughs> oh, oh. What'll be one standing boy? Well, this is relaxing. Right. On with the show. Uh, uh hello, Ponty Pandy. Well done, Elvis. Oh, yes. Well, well done, Cridlington. Always knew you could do it. <laughs> yes. Right. All clear, everyone. Back to the station. Bye. Well, I just hope Mike does as well as me. Hello, Putty Pandy. I'd like to introduce you to the new member of my band. The Scrum Master 2000. Ta-da! That's place I know where people say hello! Your new band member's not exactly Elvis, is he, Dad? He will be! Turn it up all the way, Joe! Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear! Oh, no! Elvis really wouldn't do it like that! Someone needs to call! Fireman Sam! Oh. Mike Flood's guitar machine has gone out of control and set the stage on fire. 
Mike Flood's guitar machine has gone out of control and set the stage on fire. Elvis, you and Ellie go in Jupiter. Penny, you and Arnold take Venus. I'll take Mercury. <laughs> Ellie, Arnold, you get everyone to safety. Elvis, make sure the power's off. Penny, you help me tackle the blaze. Roger that, Sam. Power's off, Sam! I don't think the Scrum Master 2000 will make it through his solo. Everyone, move back. Yes, you all need to be at least 5.5 yards back for maximum safety. All out, Sam! Oh, I'm not supposed to do that, am I? No! No, you're not, Elvis! Oh! Penalty kick to Ponty Panda United! Get ready for the penalty kick of the century! Uh, oh! Stop! Watch and learn from the professional. This is how to kick a penalty shot. Huh? Uh. Oh! Oh! Ah! Oh! Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. It's an own goal. Yes! Goal! Goal? Forget about the football, Norman. Just be careful with the. <laughs> wow! Ah! Food! Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> Mamma mia! What have you done? Oh. I'm so sorry. I'll clean up this mess. You take the pepperoni pizza out of the oven and take it to Ben at the key. Okay, Bella. Ah, it's not fair. I'm missing the match and all because of this silly pizza. <laughs> no, this is how you attack. And this is how you defend. Well, there's nothing for us to do here. We might as well all go home. And this is how you scissor kick. <laughs> Ooh, my back. Mm. Pizza smells a bit smoky. A bit too smoky. <gasps> oh, no! Help! Oh, fire! <gasps> ah! Ah! Oh! Oh! There is a hill fire in Ponty Pandy Park. There's a hill fire in Ponty Pandy Park. We'll fight the fire from the bottom of the hill. Elvis and Ellie, evacuate everyone from the stand. Sam, this tunnel sometimes floods. It's really dangerous. Help! Help! Don't worry, Mandy. I'm coming down. Are you okay, Mandy? Here's some water. Oh, thanks, Penny. I slipped, but I think I'm okay. You're a long way down. What do you think, Penny? I can't carry her up. There's no room for us both to fit. We've got to find another way. Oh. Ooh. Oh, what's that noise? 
What's going on down there? I can hear Fire Captain Steel working on the handcart. Hmm. Ah! She'll be growing body wings by now and hanging upside down. Poor Mandy Bat. Moose, is there a map of the caves? Yeah, right here. These are the caves. They go into the mountain this way, and the old mines go into the mountain this way. And they get pretty close, just where Mandy is trapped. Huh. All ready to go, thanks to two experts. <laughs> it needs two drivers as well. Who's coming with me? You're the one who knows about emergency rescues, Norris. bit more careful. Sorry, Sam. Uncle Sam, look over there! Oh no, we have to deal with that before it spreads. What, where are the beaters? The what? The floppy shovels. Uh, you see, the thing is, we use them as paddles. Last time we saw them, they were floating off down the river. It was all Norman's fault. I don't care whose fault it was. If we don't beat out that fire, it's going to spread fast. Broken bones. It's just badly bruised. Thank goodness for that. What on earth has been going on here? We've been getting fit. Well, I hope you really warmed up before you started. Well, uh, and built up slowly. Oh, uh, oh! <gasps> There's a woodland fire near the mill. There's a woodland fire near the mill. Hold on. Where do you think you all are going? There is no way this crew is fit for duty. But there's a fire in the woods. I'm afraid, sir, this is down to us. What? Oh, yes, us. <laughs> I'll just get my helmet. Stay well back, everyone. Help will be here very soon. Uh, where's the rest of the crew, sir? I'll explain later, Sam, but we're here now and ready for action. Okay, then. Let's get this fire under control. You two take the hoses. I'll start beating. Oh, 
There's no need to panic, everyone. Move to the back of the train and stay calm. Look out, Sam! Um, I'll get out your side, Sam. Penny, time for plan B. Roger that, Sam. Faster, Ben. Look out for the ice! Sam, Titan can't get past the ice. Roger that, Penny. Tom, are you there? We're going to need Wallaby One. On the line. I don't like out of control trains. That are on fire! Do something, Normaxo! Okay. Um, Normaxo will phone Mom. I'll call my alien buddies to fly in and rescue us on our interstellar communication device. That's your shoe, Norman? Norman, this isn't the time to. Shh, I'm on a call. Fly us above the train, Tom. No worries, Sam. Normaxo, look! Your phone call worked! <gasps> it's a UFO! UFO! Alien! Huh? Norman? Shh! I'm hiding from the aliens! Sorry, Sam. We'll have to head back to the rescue center till this blizzard blows over. There's just too much snow. That's it. Snow. Drop me off here, Tom. It is. I knew that. What the grizzlies? <gasps> we better call Fireman Sam. We can't. The radio is in the tent. Oh. I'll run to the rescue center and call for help. Trevor and I'll get everyone to safety. Come on, kids. Oh, I sure hope that fire doesn't spread to the forest. James, you've completed the Fireman Sam Challenge. Hooray! Uh, <laughs> now, I just need to finish this. We're back! <laughs> ah. oh. Uncle Sam, I spotted something else, but it's not in the house. What is it, James? There's a fire on the mountain! That's where the pioneers are. I'd better call the station. There's a fire on Pointy Pandy Mountain. There's a fire on Pointy Pandy Mountain! The forest trails are too small for Jupiter. We'll need to take Venus. Thank <laughs> you. 
water cannon, Penny. We have to contain the fire. I'm on it. That's dampened it down, Penny. So we could do with some backup. Hang on, Sam. I'm on my way. An emergency flare has been fired from Ponty Pandy Island. Penny, get Neptune ready. Elvis is on his way. Searching the island. But we're over here. Anything? Nothing, Penny. Sam, they're not on the island. They can't be far. You keep looking there, I'll go north. Yay! Over here! You don't think we're stuck out here, do you? No way. Not with Sam and the team looking for us. They'll find us. I told you. It's Ben and Hannah. I found them. We're on our way. It's my fault, Sam. I should have stopped when I felt my shoulder go. Well, we all push beyond our limits sometimes, Ben. Lucky you had Hannah with you. You okay, Hannah? Uh, I didn't finish. <laughs> Off you go. Huh? Finish the challenge. Really? Well, she might need a bit of help. Go, Hannah! Paddle like the wind! <gasps> Made it! Yeah! Oh, of course you did, Hannah. We knew you would, didn't we? Yep. So let's have a big cheer for Ponty Pandy's new kayak challenge champion, Hannah! Oh, I think I'd better call Fireman Sam. Ah, you're back. How did it go? We didn't find one. What? A fire hydrant? No, a waddly penguin. There's a fire at the Cut Price store, and Dylan Price and the penguin are trapped upstairs. There's a fire at the Cut Price store, and Dylan Price and a penguin are trapped upstairs? Yes, that. Ellie and Arnold, you take Venus. Roger, Roger that, that, Sam. Penny, Elvis, we'll go in Jupiter. Do you think it could be the same penguin, Sam? Chances are pretty high, Elvis. Mom! Don't worry, Norman. Sam is on his way. Ellie, we'll fight the fire. Elvis and Penny, you get Dillis and the Penguin. Firefighter Phyllis. Firefighter Sam. Air. 
It's the Waddly Penguin! Quickly, Elvis! <laughs> Hello, Waddly Penguin! <laughs> Ooh, he smells all fishy! I'm sorry I didn't take the penguin back to the zoo. I just thought it might like to live in my house. You need to know how to look after an animal before you try to give it a home, Norman. Animals are kept in exactly the right habitat in a zoo and have expert keepers looking after them. And I should have been more careful with those scented candles, Sam, and not block the door with those boxes. Well, I'm sure you won't be doing that again, Dillis. Um, uh, Lizzie, uh, who's gonna get the reward? Reward? What reward? The reward for finding the Wadley Penguin. A year's free pass to Newtown Zoo. I didn't even know there was a reward. But I should get it because I found the penguin. What? I should get it because I wanted to take the penguin back. Well, I should get a reward for carrying that stinky bird upstairs. We could go to the zoo together, Trevor. Huh? Ooh, ooh, but I drew a picture of the penguin. Yeah. Well, I think the reward but should I be mine. Now, now calm down, that everyone. That I'm sure we can back. work this out. Now, uh, who saw the penguin first? Me, me, me. I saw it. I actually <laughs> Well, this is intolerable. I'm going to have to move somewhere else. Quiddlington, I need your help. I'm going to back up. Tell me when I need to stop. Okay, sir. Ow. Keep going, sir. Keep going. And, oh! Uh, yeah. Oh, oh, wait, what? Yeah. Huh? Oh, 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 oh. oh dear. Oh. oh, that was totally awesome! That's because you got to sit in the middle. Now then, who's next? Uh, it's me, me, it's me, me, me. Oh, me please. Okay, room for two more? Move along now, please. Nothing to see here. <laughs> hey, Joe! Lizzie! Come and have a look at this! Uh. 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 Oops. Oh. Uh. Yes, yes, yes. You stay there. Gently does it. Is everything uh. all right, sir? Uh. What do you think, Cridlington? Whoa! <laughs> oh no! Fireworks! There's a fire! Ah! Oh. Oh. They in the tent where they keep the fireworks! There's a fire in the tent where they're keeping the fireworks? Those things could go up like a rocket! There's a fire in the tent. Where they're keeping the fireworks. We need you back here now, Sam. Roger that, sir. Keep back, everyone. Those fireworks could go off at any moment. Mike, what have you done? Oh, I know. Penny, you keep the fireworks boxes hosed down. Yeah. I'll tackle the rest of the fire. Coordinates, Sam. He's just off Ponty Pandy Island.
stuck. What are we gonna do? We haven't got time to go back and get more diving gear. I'm going in. It's a very delicate historical find. Where? Is it behind that nasty, stinky pile of rubbish? That nasty, stinking pile of rubbish, Norman, is the wreck of the Ponty Pandy Pearl. The Ponty Pandy Pearl? Did you find the treasure map? No, Norman. Well, not yet, anyway. <clears throat> Thank you. People of Ponty Pandy, in celebration of our historical find, I hereby declare tomorrow Ponty Pandy Beat Day. Yay! If you're stuck, give him a shout. He'll be there to help.